Hey guys, what you're seeing is me in a master nightfall while being 30 power levels below the recommended level. And look at me just dancing and doing whatever I want with my enemies. This build is absolutely insane and trust me when I say that this is going to be a top tier build this season. Now, being 30 levels below recommended means I'm taking 215% damage and only doing 40% of what I should be doing. Yet I still managed to one-shot champions in a master nightfall with this build. I see a lot of people making the typical liar's handshake build that has been in the game for ages. However, in my opinion, Assassin's Cowl is so much better in every single aspect. Take this legend nightfall as an example, you're going to one-shot champions regardless of whether you are using liar's handshake or Assassin's Cowl. Also, the same thing goes for Master Nightfalls. So most of the time, Liar's Handshake is going to be an overkill, bosses being the only exception, but then again, in boss fights you want to use your heavy weapon regardless. Also, 1-2 punch shotguns don't work properly with Liar's Handshake, as they only provide you an 80% damage increase to your melee, instead of a 200-350% to one. Not to mention that invisibility is literally one of the best buffs in the entire game, which Assassin's Cowl does provide you. And finally, Liar's Handshake is also harder to proc and only lasts for a second or two. Now, before I get into more detail, I need you guys to join up my Discord server, that way you can always stay up to date with all the builds as well as you can ask me any questions and I'll be happy to answer directly. Like I mentioned, this build revolves around Assassin's Cowl. This exotic provides you healing and invisibility whenever you kill an enemy with your charged melee or whenever you perform a finisher. For some reason, you also get this benefit even when you kill an enemy with an uncharged melee, which is a nice bonus. Now, we are going to take this amazing exotic and make it absolutely broken thanks to the new aspects, fragments and mods. Let me explain where all the melee damage is going to come from. We have Combination Blow, which is capable of stacking 3 times up to a total 180% melee damage. Well of Ions which also increases your melee damage by 30% whenever we pick up an arc well. 1-2 punch shotgun that increases your melee damage by 200% and it goes all the way up to 350 against bosses and vehicles. And then as a nice bonus if you want to use it against like harder enemies, you can use tractor cannon, which also applies a debuff to your enemies which is 30%. However, the beauty about this build is not only its insane melee damage, but also how crazy tanky this build is. We have so many resistances and heals that this almost reminds me of Solar 3.0. To start this off, we are going to be running 100 resilience which provides us 40% damage reduction. We combine this with striking light for another 25% when sprinting and then we also have spark of resistance for another 25-30% to damage reduction buff when surrounded and you can already see where this is going. We also have the healing and utility that we get from our exotic the shielding that we get thanks to reactive pulls, and the healing from our combination blow. I mean, this is as good as it gets for hunters this season, and I doubt there will be a better build capable of beating this one. I'm personally going to take this into raids, master content, and end game content. Now that you guys have an overall idea of how ridiculously OP this build is, let's get into more detail and talk about the aspects, fragments, and mods that we are going to be using. Stat wise, we are going to be aiming for 100 resilience, then as much recovery as you can get, and the rest you just put it in discipline. Now, the reason why we are not running any mobility, it's simply because we are going to be getting our dodge back thanks to our charged melee. Ability wise, you want to stick with Gathering Storm as your super, which is an amazing super this season. You definitely want to use Gamble's dodge because this is a must for this build. And then we are using combination blow for that stacking damage buff and for that healing. I also like to run this with a flashbang grenade just to have that extra utility on my grenade which is the blinding effect that this provides. For our aspect we are going to be using flow state and lethal current. Both are going to allow us to survive longer and boost our dodge and melee ability. Fragment wise we are starting off with spark of resistance which is gonna provide us that 25% damage reduction buff when we are surrounded by enemies. Next up we have spark of bolts which is simply going to give us 10 recovery and it's going to make us amplified on finishers. This synergizes very well with assassin's cowl. 
Next, we have Spark of Focus, which is going to allow for our dodge to come back much quicker whenever we are sprinting. And finally, we have Spark of Beacons, which is going to create that nice blinding explosion whenever we kill an enemy with an arc special weapon. Now, once we unlock all the fragments, you definitely want to be using Spark of Feedback, which is going to further increase the damage of your melee and is going to give you that nice 10 resilience. Starting off with our mods, we are going to be using Well of Ions in our helmet and this is going to give us that 30% damage boost whenever we pick up an Arc Elemental Well. We also combine this with Hanzon to get our super much much quicker. On our gauntlets, we are going to be using Reactive Pulse and this is going to give us that nice overshield whenever we are performing finishers. That's the main reason why we are using this. On our chestplate, we are going to be running Mellow Wellmaker and this is going to be creating those arc elemental wells whenever we defeat enemies with our charged melee. On the boots I am running seeking wells, however this is personal preference. Now in here you can use whatever mod you want, you can even use font of might. And finally on our cloak we are using striking light which is going to provide us that 25% damage reduction whenever we are sprinting, which should be all the time, especially with this build. I also paired this up with a special finisher to create that special ammo for me and my whole team, but honestly you can put anything you want in the slot, even an artifact mod. Weapon wise, my favorite loadout is running a bow or a weapon capable of dealing with champions as my kinetic weapon, a shotgun on your energy is a must, and then I like to use the lament, that way I also have that anti-barrier, meaning that with this loadout I can deal with all three champions. Another one of my favorite loadouts is running Tractor Cannon instead of the Lament, which provides you that extra damage when you need to burst those harder enemies, but mainly you want to be running a one to punch shotgun and that's the only requirement for this build. So the way you play this build is by punching everything in the face. No seriously, all you have to do is just melee and then dodge to get your charged melee back and then rinse and repeat. Each kill that you get with your charged melee, you're going to be stacking combination blow and other buffs which will increase the damage of your melee and it doesn't get any more complicated than that. You do want to sprint as much as possible because with this build you do get some insane benefits when you're sprinting so keep that in mind. And that's it guys thank you so much for watching and as always if you could support me by liking and subbing I would really appreciate it it really means a lot to me. Big thanks to my supporters as always you make these videos possible. Go out and enjoy this build and have a great rest of your day.